Hello, I'm Professor Boondoggle, and today I'm going to go over the basics of modding Morrowind. So, first thing you need to do is obviously install the game, right? I prefer GOG games, but you might already own the game on Steam or have a disc. However you do it, get Morrowind. On GOG, you just buy it. It's about five or ten bucks. You click on your games, you go here, and then you click these two buttons to download the two parts of the game. So once those two files are downloaded, you're going to run the exe just by clicking it up here. It'll ask you what language you want to do. We're obviously doing English here, but there are other languages if you speak them. English, a little installer is going to pop up. You can set where the game is installed. I prefer to have mine installed in a very specific folder, but the default is probably good enough. Agree and install. So after a few minutes, the game will be installed and whether it's GOG, Steam, whatever, you're going to click launch. You need to launch the game at least once. It's going to pop up with this. You have all these weird ESPs and data files and stuff. Click them on. They're the official add ons released by Bethesda. You probably want them on. OK, and then you just hit play. The game will launch up. So when the game launches up, it'll probably look like crap like this. The resolution will be really low. It's an old game. What do you expect? Um, but yeah, so everything's working great. The game is installed. Let's just exit out of it. So you've installed the game and you've launched it at least one time. Cool. Now we're going to actually install a mod. So you're going to type in Morrowind Nexus mods. You're going to click on this first link right here. It'll take you to the page. You are going to need to make an account if you want to download mods here. It takes a couple seconds. Just make the account. If you can't figure that out, you probably shouldn't be modding a game. Uh, so you made your account in the search bar here. You're going to type in AFF Fresh. This is a really cool mod, and it's also really, really simple to install. You're on this page. There's all these buttons. What's going on here? Don't worry about it. Click Files. Hit manual download right here. It'll pop up, say yes, I know the requirements and just hit download again. So once the file is downloaded, you're going to click on it. Whatever program you have will open it. I happen to have WinRAR, 7-Zip also works, and then just Windows built in extractor will work. As long as you see AF fresh, the folder, it's working. You, you know, you're doing good. So double click it to open it up inside of the folder, you'll see two files, affresh.esm and readme.md. Cool. So now that you've downloaded the mod, you need to get this file into the data files folder in Morrowind. So you're going to go to wherever you installed Morrowind. Hopefully you remember. And there is a folder inside of Morrowind called data files. Cool. Go in there. Yours will probably look very similar to this. That's fine. Now go back to where you have the zip open and just click it and drag it over. Don't drag it into one of these folders. Drag it into the bottom here. And there you go. AF Fresh is now installed in our Morrowind data files. So that is the absolute simplest way I can explain installing mods for Morrowind. Obviously, there are a lot more complex mods. There are ones with scripts. There are ones that require more than just this, but this is just the absolute minimum basic way to install mods. Next thing you probably want to do is launch up the Morrowind launcher again, like we did before. Go to your data files and double click the ESM or ESP that you added to make sure it's on. Hit OK, launch it up. And then when Morrowind loads like this, it'll show you that it's loading the ESP on the bottom right there. It was really fast because mine's on an SSD. And the mod, for all intents and purposes, is working right now. The mod I used is a quest mod, so it'll take you at least a couple moments to realize, hey, is this working? Did I install it right? Um, but it's this is a really good mod. I recommend it. So that was just the very, very basics of modding Morrowind with a very simple mod. Drag and drop. That's all you have to do. Activate it in the launcher. If you want more complex mods like Tamriel Rebuilt, Project Cyrodiil, or Skyrim Home of the Nords, you have to do a little bit more. So if you're not interested in that, you can stop the video here and you'll be good to go.
But if you do want those mods because you want the extra quests, the extra land, just more content in Morrowind, who doesn't want that? You're going to type into the search bar Tamriel data. It's the second one right here. Click it. This is the basis that all of these mods will run off of. So it's the same exact thing as before. Hit files. You can download the HD version or the vanilla. I'm going to download the HD. Your computer can probably run HD Morrowind textures, but if you're really running some old crappy computer, just go for the vanilla. So you same as before, you hit download. This one is about two gigabytes, so it is a little bit larger. If your internet's slow, it might take 10 minutes. So once it downloads, you're going to click on the zip, just like we did before. It'll open up. You're going to go into the double zero data files. Don't worry about the 01. Just do the double zero. Once you're in here, you're just going to click all of them, hold down your mouse, and drag and drop it into your Morrowind data file. It'll take a moment because it is a large file, but just let it drag and drop into your data file of Morrowind. So it finished extracting. That's good. The next thing we need to do is download one of the actual mods, like Tamriel Rebuilt right here. So we're going to click that. We're going to go to Tamriel Rebuilt, same as before. We're going to hit Manual Download, Download. This one's a lot smaller. There you go, it's already done. So once again, open it up. You're going to go into the core folder right here. Don't worry about the other ones, just the core. And you're going to take this ESM and drag and drop it once again into your Morrowind data files. There you go. It's right here. Looks good. So launch up Morrowind again. Go to your data files. Double check Tamriel data and TR mainland. Launch up the game. It'll actually show it loading on the bottom there. And there you go. Tamriel Rebuilt is now downloaded and working. Awesome. We're going to add Project Cyrodiil and Home of the Nords really quick. Repetition is a very easy way to learn how to do this. So Skyrim, Home of the Nords adds a chunk of Skyrim to Morrowind. Same thing. Manual download, download, open the zip, go to core. Don't worry about the other option. Drag and drop these two files into your data. Project Cyrodiil just released a huge update. Same thing. Manual download, download, drag and drop. Now that this is all installed, there is one thing you have to do, and I forgot it's a thing. See this siege at Firemoth ESP? Toggle it off. Hit OK and hit play. The game will launch up. It'll show you on the bottom what's loading, Tamriel Rebuilt, Cyrodiil and Skyrim. It's all done. Is this the best way to play Morrowind nowadays? Not really, but this will get you pretty far just being able to know how to drag and drop mods. Obviously, if you want better resolutions, you're either going to have to run MWSE or OpenMW, but that is a video for another day. If you hit new, it'll launch up your game. You'll be able to head to Cyrodiil, Skyrim, and Mainland Morrowind. You were dreaming. Just like that. Everything's working great. Name? So anyways, I'm Professor Boondoggle, and if this video helped you, let me know. I plan on making more of these types of videos to show how to mod Morrowind. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will do my best to answer them. But this is just the most basic of tutorials to help you get started modding Morrowind in 2025. Thank you for watching and peace out. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go.